As we're wrapping up our own personal lead nurturing systems, uh, we're fine tuning a few things that actually adjusted the email marketing and texting and calling. Uh, this is especially helpful as the sales team expands, you know, you want to have systems in place for them. Uh, but the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I need you guys to understand the importance of lead nurturing. So there's two sections of any successful marketing campaign and to lead gen and to lead nurturing, right? If you're hiring a marketing company, uh, they're fulfilling the lead gen, whatever it is through Facebook ads, Google ads, whatever. As soon as someone converts, that's the lead gen. So the lead nurtures everything after that conversion, which is more important in my opinion than the lead gen because we can generate a million leads but if you don't have a good nurturing system, they're not going to convert. A simple nurturing system is calling them as soon as they come through, texting them, emailing them, following them on social media, messaging them on social media, in person. There's so many different methods of converting leads instead of just waiting around and saying, hey, they saw my website, they should be converting. Uh, if you're working with us or any marketing company or if you're doing your own marketing, what's required to really scale your business and it's systems bulletproof systems that can generate the leads nurture the leads as automated as possible you know you can only hire so many people and pay out of pocket for so many things there's so many systems now that you know might even be free like we use salesmate there's salesforce there's hubspot uh, most of these start from $50 a month to 500 a month, depending on all of the features and options that you need. But if you're a small business, you're fine with the simple features. If you're a corporation and you have more employees, then you might need more systems as in when a lead comes through, splitting the leads and sending them to different salespeople. No matter how big or small your business is, you should have some kind of systems in place. A lot of clients that just started marketing, their expectations are way too high. They get unmotivated and dissatisfied and they quit marketing and business overall because they didn't see the results that they wanted just because they didn't understand the full spect spectrum of growing a business. Running Facebook ads, which is our primary focus, does not solve the problem. It only amplifies whatever it's currently happening in your business. So if your business is doing well, the Facebook ads are going to help grow even more. If your business is doing poorly, meaning you don't have good conversions through your websites or through your nurturing systems, it's only gonna make it worse because now you're dumping money, you have a lot more angry clients that aren't getting the service that they signed up for. So, so Facebook ads is one portion of it and the nurturing is the second half. When we launch your Facebook ads, we look at that second half of the sales process as well. Most people just look at the Facebook ads, okay, I got this many clicks, this many views, this, this many conversions, um, this many impressions and so forth, instead of looking at the other half because you know this is just as important. So we look at, okay, conversion happened, how many people scheduled a call or how many people went to their own page, how many people went to their product page or the service page, and how many people checked out. Most of this stuff, can be tracked because the great thing about digital marketing is that you can really track everything. With the new iOS update, you can only see, you know, a limited amount of these metrics, but there's other softwares that you can integrate with your website. Um, most website builders nowadays have their own internal analytics. So just make sure it's activated so that you can analyze it and we can actually analyze it. Let's break down what happens when a lead comes in. The first thing that happens is, you know, they see the ad and they convert. And as soon as they convert, the best thing that you can do as a business owner is have someone contact that lead within 15 minutes. The shorter time from the lead form being filled out to the point of you contacting that lead will increase the likelihood of that lead answering. So if they're filling out something, um, they're more than likely on their laptop or on their phone and they have some free time. So if they have free time, call them right away. You'll be surprised how many times we close clients just because of our response rate. This is why it's important to have a few salespeople because then someone's always available to contact that lead. So contact them as soon as possible and then follow up with 
the second action of an email um, or a text discussing what you guys discussed and also the pricing. And say the lead doesn't really answer anymore and they fall out, or they say they never answered that first call, don't give up on them. We've all heard that it takes 10, 15 uh, touch points to actually close a deal. How do you expect to call someone once and then close the deal? And the thing is that if you understand the pyramid of the sales process, meaning the amount of people that are converting at any given time, seven to 10% of clients are ready to convert at a given time. So at this moment, if you have a hundred leads, seven to 10 of them are ready to move forward. Doesn't mean they're gonna move forward with you, but they're in the market. The 30% below that is interested, uh, they're just not ready, right? 30% below that, they don't think they need the service yet, but sooner or later they will. And then the final 3%, depending if you're looking at the seven or 10%, uh, they just don't need the service at all. No matter if you give your service out for free, they just won't take it. So understand that you're only going to close about 10% of your leads if you're only working on top of that funnel. What about the other 30% that are actually interested? So you could triple your revenue just by having systems for the other 30%. Don't work top of the funnel leads. Uh, work on the leads that are also interested, but they're just not ready to move forward, which is fine. You know, at this given time, you're not ready to buy a house and a car and life insurance and health insurance and groceries and clothes this given second, but you will need it sooner or later. Some things might come sooner, some things might come later. You know, sooner or later you will buy a house, maybe in 10 years, so something for realtors out there, everyone's going to need a house sooner or later. Don't kill your lead. Have a system that can follow up with them. Even after that first month, you're touching base with them every month. It can be a simple email, a simple text. It doesn't really matter what you have. Just make sure that you're actually connecting with your leads. So my recommendation is if you're generating leads, have these systems in place where they get a text as soon as they sign up. Someone calls them, they get an email, follow-up email, another email, another text, another call. Um, it does not have to be annoying. So if you're in a specific industry like health insurance, send them blogs about health, uh, the importance of healthcare, the importance of going to a doctor for checkups, you know, any news trends in the health industry, send them stuff like that. You don't have to send every email saying, hey, I'm following up, I'm following up, I'm following up. People will just unsubscribe and block your email. If you send them educational stuff, uh, they're more than likely to, you know, stay enrolled in your email sequence. So if you guys need help with building a nursery system, we're here to help because ultimately our goal is to help you guys generate as much revenue as you can.